You're in first gear. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? No, it's not pretty good. Take the place a brand new car, take it out of first gear, put it in D yeah. like it's supposed to be in D. No, it doesn't have to be in anything. It's a new car running in the gears. No, no. Put it in D for drive. A do to do in the D. D for running drive. in the gears. D for Deacon does do. Do what Deacon says. Yeah, yeah. Put How are you going in the back there, Kate? All right? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's your old man's over? Joining the D's. Oh, it's got nothing to do with it, really. Oh, he's going to start taking orders from you soon, if you're not careful. Yeah, <laughs> well, it won't be the first time. Central 101. We're the closest ones there. We'll take that, all right? Thanks, Central All right, that's a lot of that. Hey, watch this. Watch what it does in first. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, if you want to put it in bloody D, like I said, the light wouldn't have come off. There, you, can, you can't even get these bloody D's where they are for. <laughs> Stand behind me. Put your bloody gun down and put it in your holster. driving up a one-way street the wrong way. Yeah, the guy was going to get away. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, to do? and I suppose a great big black dog ran out into the middle of the road. You swerved to avoid it and hit the other car. You were yeah. a mind reader, Holbeck. How did you know there was a big black dog? You hit a civilian car. And you rode off a, a brand-new police vehicle. What do you and the suspect what? is still out there. What do you expect? He's a wog. He had a brand-new car, fat tyres. There's more grease on him than there is on the road. Well, I was going to call yeah, for Yeah, well, the problem so... is, is that the cream is still out there. And in the process, you caused a shitload of damage. Yeah, well, I was going to radio for uniforms to back me up, but uh, they're not exactly well, I'll have quick to put in a breach report about this. Before it's a dent. It's a little, it's a big dent, but it's a dent. <clears throat> I'll expect the paperwork on my desk later this afternoon. OK? It's your job, Oh, shit, it is. Actually... Great bloke, your old man. <laughs> so what exactly was taken? I just got the delivery today. 50 speaker systems, yeah. all boxed up. Yeah, anything else? Was that it? Worth two grand a set. <clears throat> Little bastard couldn't keep his hands off it. So what, you reckon you know who was? Yeah, of course I did. Inside job. How's it going, guys? All right? Oh, not news again. Just piss off. Look at, at looking for Nick McCoy. Nick McCoy, around here. He's in He's out. 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 He's Oh, you, what's your name? Haven't you asked? Is it Kyle? Is it Kyle? Okay, I'm going to give you my card, okay? Hey, please, you give it to Nick, okay? You, what are you doing? Hey, I said you're not going to do this. Hey, what's happening? What are you doing? Shut up. What's happening? Are you Nick? Yeah. Nick McCoy? Yeah, who are you? You work for Mason's iPhone? Yeah, I do. They'll rob this afternoon. What are you doing? You know about that? No, I don't know a thing about it. Can you get you guys out of here? Yeah, well, let's go. What are you looking at? Nothing. What are you doing? Snapper, what are you doing? Ain't shit, mate. You're a little turtle, you? You're a little boy, son. I'll stop you in an ash tray, you little prick. Now get up the stairs. You're spanking the neck, Captain. Well, I thought you should have a word to him first. Where is he, up there? He's upstairs. He's only a suspect. Hey, Charlie, you got the little shit. Well done. Yeah, Kate Holbeck, this is uh, Phil McCoy. How are you? Hey. Kate's a new trainee D. How are you hey. doing? Yeah. Right, uh, what time did it happen? Uh, about three o'clock. Okay, thanks. Okay. That little shit happens to be McCoy's son. So where were you at three o'clock today, mate? No, I was shooting pool at the arch. Right. Were you with anyone? I was by myself. Mm -hmm. What time did you leave? Four o'clock. And where'd you go? Straight after that. Straight after that, went to the park, yep. walked around and went home. Right. Did you talk to anybody, see anybody, or anything like that? No, nobody. Okay. These mates of yours, what about the ones that you hang around with, you haven't mentioned anything to them about the delivery. Well, you think I did this? No, no, I'm not saying you did it. I'm you not think saying I said that. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. But whoever broke into the shop, they knew how to get past the security system. See, they knew exactly well, when the delivery about was it, coming. Okay? So who did it? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Listen, I told you, I don't know who it is. All right, Mr. Mate. 
if your parole officer gets any wind of this, you're going to go straight back into the detention center. Do you want me to talk on a mate? Do you want me to talk on a mate? Is that it? Yes. If you have to, well, that's, that's what exactly what I want you to do. You would. I wouldn't. All right, come here. So you agree you're going 80k's? Well, I'm not agreeing to that at all. I've already told you. I don't know how fast I'm going. He was doing it, Lisa, down a one-way street. Hey, how do you know? Hey, you're not with your mates driving your pink charger now, mate. What the hell are you trying to prove? Mate, I was chasing an offender, OK? Oh, Do you have any idea oh, what goes into that? Oh, yeah, well, excuse me. How many people were you prepared to kill in the process? OK, OK, yeah, let's, yeah, have, yeah, let's, let's have a bit of calm. Oh, yeah. come, look, my wife's down at the hospital with suspected whiplash. Now, what the hell are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it, Mr Owens. I'm going to investigate this matter fully. Now, in the meantime, detective, I suggest that you owe this man an apology. It's the least you can do. What? You mentioned a bloke that's living in your place by the name of Jack. Jack Reeves. Yeah, Jack Reeves. What about him? Jack Reeves. And you said he was in Minda with you. What was he in Minda for? Attempted murder. Attempted murder? Jeez, you're hanging around with some pretty heavy-duty people here, mate. I think I was kicking the crap out of him, but no one cares no, about hang that. Hang on, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that you could have tipped him off about this. You think I'm in on it? No, no, you, you think could I have set done it up. accidentally. You could have done well, you accidentally. You think he's going to use me to rip the place off? Yeah, that's what he could he's have done. Mate. Has he, he been hanging do around he's the shop much? Did he go into the shop much? Yeah. And did he ask about the security system? He might have. I don't know. And did you tell him about the delivery coming today? Well, he had a stereo being delivered, but he was paying for that. Right, so he did know about the delivery. Yeah, he did. But he's a mate, he wouldn't rip it off. Why not? He's a junkie, isn't he? What's okay, well, if he's it? a junkie, he's not a mate, because he will rip you off. He gets What's that, that desperate, he's going to need the What money. does that say about me, then? I'm not talking about you. It doesn't say anything about you. I'm just saying that he could have done it. Do you want me to do anything? Uh, no, I think you can relax. We'll handle it from here. Jack Thanks. Reeves. OK, so Here he we go, is, uh... Jack Reeves, that's him. That's him? Yep. You remember the cop that got stabbed out at Ramwick a while back? Six, six wounds to the chest and back. Who was that? Was Peter Giles, mate, and that's the culprit, Jack Reeves. OK. He roughed the kid up, you know. Sorry? He roughed the kid up. Peter Giles Peter roughed him up? Yeah. Well, that's his story. It sounds like bullshit to me. Yeah. Look at him. Roughed Long him up. freak. Detective Sergeant. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You sure you don't want to go? Let's go. Come on. You sure you don't want to go? Let's go. Where is he? It's not here. You better find out, mate. Yeah, whatever. Because next time we're coming back, we're with us. See you later, Princess. Shit, man. Why didn't you tell us your old man was a pig? If they find me, right? With my record, I'm stuck. Yeah, stand yeah, the cop, man, the cop. You haven't they done... They keep paying for that. Jack, Jack, you haven't done anything, OK? So they cannot yeah, they get you for anything. They make up their own minds. Like, yes, the cop, no, but you, you haven't done anything. You shit out of me first. Oh, just calm down. Don't okay? Wrong, Jack. Can I get me dose off this, you know? I've got to get out of here. No, look. I can't be hanging you, around here. I know that, but you are not scheduled okay, I have to get today. out of here, man. Look. Tomorrow, when you're scheduled, yes. Fine. I'm not kissing the thing. Excuse me, don't say that. You listen to me, too. Are you trying to run us over or something? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hi, Dave. Say, Charlie. Jack Reeves, come with us down the stage. Hey, 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 h
happens to be a client of yours. I don't know. Maybe I'm an unlucky man, Charlie. We'll be back here at 3 o'clock. And if uh, he's we'll not here... No, no, no. If he's not here... If he's not here, you're not responsible. 3 o'clock's fine, gentlemen. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. 3 o'clock. See? Nice and diplomatic. Beautiful relationship going on here. I can't go down to this, man. It's going to be the baby's time. You know what they're going to do to me in there? Well, so you lie to us and, and you, you expect I'm us to... I'm on parole, man. You're, 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 yeah, I'm not going to get out of here, am I? In the first place. You know the cops... I need the cash. You've got to get work with my record. Cops are just not... They're going to get off your back oh, and you know that. Hey. You know that. You hey. know that. Yeah, you did it, didn't you? You did what? You had to play it off. You did it off. What are you talking about? I'm trying to go straight. You're doing me this shit. What do you think I'm staying? I'm going to shit up with you. No way. Get out of me. Jeff, don't go, all right? Please. I'm going. Please, you've got to come with me. Don't try to stop me. Come with me to the other station. No, no, what are you going to do? I'm going. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. I'm going. They're not going to catch me, all right? I just want to... I can't handle none of this shit. So you're not prepared to accept in any way that Nick didn't have anything to do with it? That's right. That's right. But they're interviewing another suspect. I mean, can't you at least postpone any kind of decision about the job until they reach? Well, how do you think this other suspect knew about the delivery? Or knew about the security systems? Well, you told him you were well, right. I, I think it. you're jumping to conclusions, you know? I mean, that sort of information could just... I mean, it could be common knowledge, could have slipped out... Oh, are you re accident. really dumb or is it just the blonde hair? I gave you a chance the last time you ripped me off. Well, but I didn't do anything. I, I didn't rip Shut you off. Shut The next time you come to my shop, I'll wring your bloody neck. Nick needed that job. It's the only thing keeping him straight. Well, I wouldn't have said it's the only thing. Yeah, but I mean, hanging around a bloke like Jack Reeves, what hopes he got? Well, look, he's doing really well on the methadone program. I mean, you know, he's, yeah, he's straightening he's... himself up. Yeah, well, not why yeah, he's covering for this nice Reeves character. Yeah, but he's a mate. He yeah. is. Oh, okay. okay. This is Justin Turner, can't we? Hi, Bill McCoy. He's gone. What's... What, who, what's gone? My baby, my baby's missing. Calm down. Your baby's no, gone. Okay, all right, just calm down. Now, would you like a tea or a coffee no, before no, you... I don't understand. She's only a right. little baby. She's only three Look, months. We, okay, we need uh, to get Ruth? a description. We need it. Can you get a I, tea, I can't please? Right, here, sit, sit down. down here. You don't understand. Sit down. She's only a little baby. We've got to find her. Okay, calm down. You don't understand. She's only three months old and I need to feed her up after her car. Okay, just sit down. What's Justine, is it? Okay, Justine, you just sit there now, we'll get to details. What sort of car was it? It's a, it's a grey Sigma station wagon. Okay, just, you drink and that. then jumped oh. in the car, he's taken... Doily, where are you? Sigma. Drink this, please. It's a Sigma. Come here. Right. No, Sigma station wagon. We need a Sigma grey station wagon. Where was the baby? In the back seat. In the back seat? Yep. Right, what, what, what? In a um, chair? In a capsule, thing? baby capsule. In a capsule? Can you get that out? Yeah. I just no, thought I could Sigma. leave it there while I went to All the right, bank well, and... Okay, you went to the bank? I went to the bank and, and I left you left the baby the in the car? You went to the bank and left the yes, baby in the car. Yes, well, why I... would you do something like that? I left her for a second because she wasn't sleeping. Calm she needed down. to sleep. I just left her in jail. All right, okay, okay. No, okay. you help me, boy. All Come right, on. we will. Just, no. uh, just take it through. She's can you take it through there? I need to feed her. Just, just take it through. Take it through there. Can you help me? So from here, can you tell me exactly where you parked? Um, yep, I was just across the road here, just outside that chemist there where I could see it. I didn't want to wake her up, so I left her in the car, but I, I could definitely see the car from here because I'd never leave right. her unless I can see it. You got some money out of here, is that right? Yep, yep, I got it right Crazy. here. How much did you get out? Uh, I think it was $50. 50 bucks? Yep. Okay. Um, then what happened? And then I came up to these lights here and this man came up behind me and he pushed me over and he had a knife and he, he grabbed my bag and and he had my keys and he, he ran across the road to the car and I saw him open the car door and I yelled out but no one came. So he ran across here, did he? Yeah, yeah, and I, I ran as fast as I could but I couldn't, I couldn't get to him. All right, can you uh, recall what he looked like at all? Uh, Was he young, old, what? Uh, look, uh, maybe 17, 18. Yeah, can you remember what he was wearing? Yeah, he had a baseball cap on back to yeah. front. Okay. And sort of long, longish hair. What colour hair? Dark. Dark? Dark hair? Okay, you don't remember anything else that he might have been wearing? No, it was really, really quick. Okay. Can you circulate a description of everybody it. around here? Uh, she needs to be fed, it's been two hours. Yeah, we're doing everything possible to find your daughter. Now, you said before that you and the father aren't together anymore, so how long is it since you've seen him? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Maybe a month. So you haven't spoken to him for that length of time either? No, not really. Right. Do you think it might be a good idea if you called up 
the father and just told him what's happened here. So did you see or hear anything unusual? There was a kid who was probably up to no good. Well, what do you mean by no good? Well, he's out here cruising up and down, eyeing off cars. These kids will do anything, break into cars for small change. Right. What time of day was that? Do you remember at all? Or... Oh, around midday. Um... He's off and around, though. Uh, so you've seen him before? Oh, yeah. Ripped off some cash from the store once, but they never caught him, of course. Uh, can you give me a description of the guy? Any distinctive features? Uh, he's about my height. Um, wears a baseball cap. Uh, dark, ratty-looking hair, and uh, I'm pretty sure he had an earring or something through his ear. An earring. OK, thanks. Hey, Diggs. Hey, Charles. Hey. Hey. It's three o'clock, mate. Where's your man? I don't know where he is. You don't know where he is? I have no idea where he is. What time did he leave, mate? I'd say around about midday or something. Oh, funny, that. Yeah. That's around the time that we were here, weren't we? Oh, yeah. look, come on, Charlie. Are you really surprised he's not here? I mean, he was actually really distressed by the time he'd left, the way you guys had treated him. Right. You know? I'm sure when he came here, you gave him his little dose and he was happy boy. No, I that. didn't, actually. It's none of his business. Why tell you the truth. Why not? Oh, why not? It's confidential information. I don't have to tell you that. I'll tell you why, because when he got here, he was already off his face. Is that right? On something else. Oh. Was he really? Well, you're well, you're a junkie, this bloke. <laughs> this kid's knifed somebody six times. Yeah. That may well be the case, Deep, but this is a place of refuge. Oh, right? please don't give me the shit about the oh, refuge. Oh, don't What's wrong with that? just a load of bullshit, the refuge. If this bloke does something wrong, we are the blokes that cop the shit for it? Just hold them. We're not going to ask any questions. We just, we just want our little girl back. Just let them now, please, go. just, just move. Excuse me. Please disperse. Take it back. So what time was the baby taken? About 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. OK, that could be Jack Reeves, OK? The description matches. He left the crisis at about the same time. All right, can be in. Check his placer. Yeah, he did a runner. He did a runner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Justine's description matched the shopkeepers right down to the earring. Yeah, well, Jack Reeves got an earring as well. Who? Okay, well, see if we can track him down. He's uh, plenty of other possibilities. We've got to check out the father yet. Yeah, we should have word to Nick, see if he knows. Yeah, I'll handle it. You can do that. Okay, come here. Keep Justine up to date, will you? Well, there's something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, well, I don't know yet. Get on to Maxime Summers down at the crisis centre. See if community services have got a record of him. Well, I could call them myself. It might save some time. Well, you might. Get as far. Get on to Maxine. Hold on, don't worry. So you can quit following me. This mate, we're talking about something very serious here. Yeah, I know it's serious. A little serious. baby. A little baby could He's be. He's not going to hurt a baby. Huh? How do you know that? He might have just dumped a car with the baby still he in the He wouldn't back. dump a car with a baby in it. But you know him that well, do you? Yeah, I know him that well. So you knew him well enough, did you, when you're talking about the delivery to Masons? Hi fi systems and a baby are different, okay? They're not, mate. You've got to help me, please. No, I can't help you. I know you might be trying I to protect I don't know where he is. Don't protect him, you know. But come here, hang on, hang on. Forget What's it, I happen? can't help you. What's going to happen? Wait up, wait up. No. You call I, I can't, yeah, they're my friends. I can't well, help who's you. Who's going to protect you wait up. if you're involved with somebody that's hurt a baby? Come I just want to know. Forget just, it, man. Come here. Okay, thanks, Maxine. Yep. Oh, Bill, I got something from Docs. So community service, I reckon they've got you on their books. Hang on a second. What are you thinking? You're not thinking that I took Hannah, are you? Or did you? Is that what she thinks? I don't know. It doesn't matter what she thinks. Did you take oh, your daughter? You've got to be joking. Did you take her? So that means a no, is it? Of course I didn't take her. Jesus Christ. See, we know you've got a record of abuse against Justine. Oh. But docs have also recorded a little incident of abuse against your daughter. What's that all about? What? You tell me, what's that about? Are you serious, mate? I'm serious, all right. Are you, are you thinking that I'm hurting? She's a tiny baby, mate. Why the hell would I want to hurt I her? I don't for? know. You tell me why would you want to hurt oh, your right. baby. right. So she walks into docks and she tells them that I hit my child and that's it, huh? Everyone believes it. Yeah. Now, what we're concerned about here is finding your daughter. So you tell me again. Did you take your baby? No, I did not, mate. If you can Do you know where your child is? No, I do not. Why don't you just go out and find her? I'll go and find her, all right, and I'll find her with you. And if we find that you're involved in this, 
You're finished. Yeah. So if you know anything about your daughter, you might as well cop up now. I've already said that I didn't, and that's it. That's the end of the story. I don't know, OK? I don't know shit. Well, you don't seem too concerned about it. <laughs> this is a joke. You didn't tell us your boyfriend was violent to you? A few times. It was never really bad or anything. It was bad enough to make it look good. Only a couple of times. Did you ever hit Hannah? You sit over there, please. Just once he sort of shook her. He couldn't handle the screaming. Right, would you uh you went to docks for help. So he must have thought it was gonna get worse. Well, I was on a bit of a short fuse at the time. Right. Did you love me? Yes. Even when he was hitting it? He didn't hit me that often. Justine, would you call him a jealous sort of bloke? Why are you asking me about Ned? Well, I mean, if somebody um, took a fancy to you. What has my personal life got to do on, with finding hang on. Hannah? If another bloke took an interest in you, no, and then you hang on. What has this got is to that do when with he'd start daughter? drinking? Is that when he'd start drinking and then he'd get violent? Is that when it started happening? What has Ned got to do with this? Well, it must have been a bit of a shock when your daughter came along. How do you handle that? He loved his daughter. But she would have taken a lot of no, your no, attention away like from that. him. No, no, it wasn't like that. He loved his daughter. Okay, Justine, when you went to the ATM to draw money out, yes, how much money did you think was in your account? I wasn't sure. Well, we've got a statement that says your account's overdrawn. Well, I thought the maintenance from Ned might have come through. But you said you took out 50 bucks. Yeah, all right, I went to get 50 bucks. When I got there, I didn't have Right, so the bucks, guy so that the guy that snatched your bag took off with no money in it, is that right? Yes, that's right. But you said there's money in it. Yeah, what difference does it make? I told you I forgot. You know, I went to get $50. Yes, I went to get $50. What difference does it make? It wasn't there. Yes, you took my bag. It didn't have anything in it. You're right. I've got nothing to hide. What has this got to do with finding my daughter? Justine, could Ned have anything to do no, with Ned the disappearance of Hannah? No, Ned had nothing to do Hannah? with the disappearance of Hannah. I have told you all this. My it's daughter is missing. What are you doing about it? Sorry, Bill. Can't see you for a minute. Okay, excuse me. The baby died of exposure. I reckon she'd been dead for a couple of hours. The yeah. alarm went off one of the shops around midday. What was it, shoplifting or what? No, no, nobody was caught. No? It's got to be him, mate. It's got to be Jack Reeves. OK, we're any close to track sure. this Reeves bloke down. Check the pubs and the railway stations, gaming parlours, no sign. All right, anyone checked out any of the other methadone clinics? I, I mean, might have gone the in there to have a bit of a Check the inner west as Excuse me, Bill. A uh, bit of light reading for you, Kustos. Apparently, the man's wife's a journalist. Could make a bit of trouble for you. Did you yeah, thanks, mate. Then, did you? Don't what the it. hell is this, man? Don't Front page. Don't worry about it. You're a legend. Just my luck, you know? She happens to be a journalist. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. So you know Peter Giles, do you? Well, we worked on the same shift. Right. Well, the guy that stabbed him... He shares a place with my son. It's horrible. Yeah. A lot of the coppers reckon the judge was piss weak. You should have given him a life sentence. No, I wasn't there when it happened. What do you reckon about that, though? Well, he was in the habit of treating kids like shit. 
you know. Especially kids like Jack. They used to call them no hopers and uh, you know, say that if they went to prison they'd get it up the arse and shit like that. It was horrible actually. <laughs> so what do you reckon he provoked it, do you? Oh, I you know, I can't say that I you know, no one deserves to be a cripple, but if you're gonna give shit you gotta get it back, basically. Juno's whiplash cleared up pretty quick, eh? <laughs> Bad. Well, a simple thank you wouldn't go astray. Yeah, thanks, mate. Maybe the next poor copper at asking the time. Is you're in a good mood this morning, aren't you? What's wrong with you? You're not eligible for takeaways, you know that. What? What's the problem? I don't see what the problem is. Why can't you give me the takeaways? Where did you sleep last night? Eh? Just give me the takeaways. You've seen him, haven't you? You've seen Jack. Look, Nick, the best thing that you can do for him is to convince him to come in here, we can talk to the cops, and we can sort it out. If he didn't do it, he can't go down for it. Okay? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? That's that... how it works. You know, he can't be proved guilty if he's innocent. Get him either way. What? Who tells you? He's shitting himself. You know they're going to pin him. Okay, well, in care. that case, he needs legal assistance, doesn't he? That's Who why from? we've got Vince here. You know? So I get him to see Vince and give him the takeaway? No, you get him to come in and see Vince and I'll give him the takeaway at the same time. But yeah? he's hanging out now, so we need to take away. You bring him in here and I'll give him the dose. He needs it now. That's the deal. You get him to come in. He's and hanging I'll out. I'll happily give him the dose. What, well, of course? Get him to come in. I can't give it to you. Jack, I spoke to Matt. Just... Do you know how to read the time or what? Let me hey. try and prove to hey. The big hand's on 12, little hand's on 3. What time is that? Hey, 3 o'clock, that's what time it is. That's what time we had an appointment for yesterday. So why weren't you there? Hey, did we have an appointment or not? 3 o'clock? I forgot. You forgot? Forgot my ass. You're off your face. That's what you're doing. So where were you? I was at home. Hey, you know, you know what I reckon? I reckon you'd been to Marrickville Shopping Centre. Oh, you got no proof on and that. While you were there, you know. while you were there, you pulled a knife on no a lady. Proof. Pulled a knife on a lady, snatched the bag, jumped in the what car, and got away. Hey, hey, the only problem yeah, was, that's obviously, that's once bullshit. you were in the car, you realised that there was a bit of extra baggage on board. No, hey, the baby. Bullshit. Charlie, hey, Charlie. What are you talking about? I'm gonna sort of baby. What are you talking about? Sit down, dickhead. Jack, don't even answer me. Listen, Jack's prepared to cop. Jack's prepared to take the rap for the breaking in on the hi-fi shop. And that's it. Did you okay. panic or what, eh? Were you thinking straight? What, were, what was going through your I head? I was never there. Mate, if you were thinking straight... I was nowhere near where you're talking about. Yeah, what are you going about? If you were thinking straight, yeah. you would have made a phone call. Yeah. You would have done something. Hey. You would have let someone know that there was a baby in the car, wouldn't you? What are you talking about? I'm not going down for something. If you were thinking shit. straight, but nah, yeah. you weren't thinking Fuck. straight. Nah. Sit didn't let anyone know anything. Hey, you just let the baby oh, sit there. Hey, you're in a crowded car park, you thought someone's gonna bump into the baby eventually, hey? Theory, Jack. Hey, people around everywhere, theory, someone's gonna, someone's gonna come yours. along to see the baby and save it, but nah! No one saw anything, mate. The baby sat there in the back and froze. Froze like an icy pole, dead. All because you were too gutless, I was Jack, too near there. Spoilers, Jack. and you were too off your Jack. face to make a Jack. bloody phone call to save a baby's Please. life, hey? Jack now said he wasn't dead. there, Charlie. You'll take the rap for the breaking into that seat. You've got nothing to hold him on, okay? Mate, if he's, so, to hold him if on. he's so innocent, let's put him in a lineup. Then we'll see how innocent he is. Hold the number in front of your chest, like so. In front of your chest. Face forward, face Mr. Cellini just here. Sure. Face front. Just stick up. Face Mr. Cellini.
OK, follow the <clears> officer <throat> out. Word with you, son. Stand over here. released on bail. Let's just talk about this. Talk the about guy, what? The guy was you on the run. Up. Listen to me. The guy was on the run when the baby went missing, all right? Oh, so, so he's a suspect. Oh, little bastard, huh? Listen, what happened when he messed with the cops. Is Listen, that what do you want? Is that what do you want here? Do you want me to save this guy for you? I don't want anything you? from you. Is that you? what you want? Oh, I'll save him. Hey, hey, you want me to come hey, and make Bill's everything right for you? Say it loud enough. You want me to make everything right for you? Is that what you want? I don't want anything from you. OK, you don't like what I do? No, I don't like it. We've got something in common because I don't like a lot of what I do either. And there's something else we've got in common. I don't like a lot of what you do. Sorry. And I bet you don't like a lot of what you do either. Yeah. I need to talk to her, just in. All right? Please, I'll, I'll talk to you about him later. Will you? We'll sort this. I'm sorry. They uh, told me to leave Ned. They said they couldn't help me until I got away. So then eventually you did get away. Where'd you go? Uh, mainly refuges. Stay with one of my girlfriends for a little while, but <clears throat> she only had a one-bedroom flat. Did you miss Ned? Yeah, well, Ned could be a real bastard. He was a useless father, but it was better than nothing. So when you went to community services and told them that you'd left Ned, did they do anything to help you? Uh, well, it took me a few goes to leave Ned for good and... When I went back to them, they said I'd lost my place in the queue and I'd have to wait. Jesus. So you did what they told you. You left an abusive situation and you're no better off. I mean, there you are, you've, uh, you've lost your house. Any financial security you had had gone. You, you're left with a three-month-old baby, all by yourself, no support, and feeling very lonely. How'd that make you feel? I don't know. I mean, it must have felt, made you feel like something. Like I needed a break, I guess. Like a bit of a break? Who from? Myself. What about Hannah? I was tired. She wasn't sleeping very well. Yeah, but I mean, being told that you're on a waiting list, that's the last thing you want to hear. Because you wanted to break there and then. Didn't you? I mean, it must have made you feel desperate. No, well, they said I was on a waiting list, but I didn't know how long it was going to be. Justine, we've got a record of a visit you had to St Andrews Hospital a couple of weeks ago. And it says here that Hannah was admitted for an overdose of Finergan. Is that right? So why would you be giving her such a large dose of Finergan? I mean, it's an antihistamine. It, it makes babies drowsy. I made a mistake with the dosage. I wasn't thinking straight. So it wouldn't have been because um, you need to have a bit of a break no, from a screaming child it. or anything no, like that? No, she was sick. The medicine? I didn't read the bottle properly. She was sick. Okay. 
So it was an accident, wasn't it? So the day Hannah was taken, you said she was crying and screaming a lot, is that right? Um, I'm not sure. You reckon she was having trouble sleeping, all that sort of thing? Yeah. I know with my kid, when, when he was having trouble sleeping, I used to get so desperate I'd put him in the back of the car and drive round and round and round until, uh, you know, eventually he'd drop off to sleep. Is that the sort of thing you were trying to do? Did it work? Um. Well, uh, I thought I left a dummy in the car, but when I got there, I wasn't there. Right. So why didn't you just stop and buy another one? Oh, because I'd run out of money, and she only takes um, those orthodontic types, oh, and they're yeah. expensive. Yeah, no other ones. And that's when you stopped at the handy bank, was it, to get some cash out? And you had uh, Hannah was screaming and crying in the back of the car, and you found out that there's no, no money in your account. Yeah, and that's when the man came up to me. The man came up. I thought you said he was a young boy. He came up to me. Well, he, he was a young man. But you said a, a young boy came and knocked you over and took your cash? Yeah. Is that right? But you didn't have any money with you? Well, he took my bag. He took your bag, right. OK, can we just go up here? So you went into the supermarket, right? Into the big shopping complex. Why'd you go in there if you didn't have any cash? Um. I don't know, I, I, um, I just go in there sometimes to look at stuff. But this particular time, why'd you go in there? Into the shopping centre? To get a dummy. To get the dummy. Where from? Well, from the chemist. Uh-huh. These shopping complexes are really big. Yeah. Very easy to get lost in those, those sort of places, aren't they? You know, it's uh, enormous and everything. Is that, is that the reason you went in there? Maybe, I mean, I'd, I'd suggest that maybe you went in there because you had a baby screaming in the car, you felt quite desperate, a bit frustrated. You wanted to go in, it was a freezing day. It was a nice place to keep warm and everything. It's the sort of place you get lost, nobody knows you. You look around, you see other women similar to yourself, but they're sitting around drinking coffee, seem to have lots of money, maybe talking about their holiday plans, all that sort of thing. Is that the reason why you go in there? Uh, I just went in for five minutes. So what, you just lost track of time or something? Well, I, I just went, when I got in there, you no, know, it was, it was nice and warm and um, there was, you, you know, nice things and I just, you know, wanted to look around and, and um, I, I just, you know, I just cut off a bit and... Do you have any idea of how long you were in there for? I, well, I just, I just went in for five minutes. Right. Right, so when you came back out, you came back to your car, can you just come over here? Just have a look in there. I've got a capsule there. So when you came out of the, uh, the shopping complex, you came back to your car, what did you see when you looked in there? Can you tell us what you saw in the car? Baby. You saw your baby in the car? Was your baby in the back seat in a capsule like that? So your baby was still in the car when you got back to you. Is that right? Did you check your baby to see if it was all right? You didn't check your baby?
So I did the formal examination. I finished it. Okay, what'd you find? Well, she's definitely suffering from postnatal depression. Mm -hmm. um, that's also linked to the shoplifting. Right. What do you think her chances are? Well, postnatal depression, stress of violent relationship, yeah. no support from docs. I think she's got a pretty good chance of an acquittal. See what I can do. All right. Thanks for the info from docs. Oh, no I worries. I just <laughs> needed it. Yeah. No, nice to be thanked. Okay. Hey. Oh, see How's ya. Reeves? Um, oh, he's good. Yeah. He's good, a bit bruised, but uh, he'll be all right. That's a shame. You know what's worse than the fact that you got beaten up, Dick? What's that? Hey? What's that? The fact that people like you label him. That's our fault, is it? Yeah. Eh? Hey, you label him as a criminal, that's what he's going to become. What about the 15 you and 16 year old kids that work at Woolies and McDonald's don't, and places like that? Don't be surprised. Hey? Does anyone look after them? No, while they're at work, that bastard's breaking into their house. What do you want? Talk to my son, it's all right. He doesn't want to talk to you, so piss off. What do you care? What do I care? I don't want no cops around me, mate. I had enough of that. Huh? Man, he mate. saved your ass. What's what I've got him to thank for this, do I? See you later. Yeah, you piss off. Go, go. Yeah. So, they still give me a hard time? Yeah, they'll get over Well, I had a word to his parole officer. We should get a pretty good deal in court. You won't go back inside? No, not for breaking in. That's good. Listen, you might have to crash at your old man's place for a while, mate. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Pretty funny, though. Cop and a junkie under the same roof. Yeah, it depends on the cop and the junkie, huh? Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, there's a refuge down the road, man. It might crash there until something turns up. Things must be pretty rough when you choose a refuge over your old man's sofa. They're not that bad. They're not that bad. I stayed in rest before they cool. Thanks anyway. Thanks. You know the office always open when you want it. Yeah. Always open. Thanks.